Today I'm going to talk how to keep a snake in a terrarium. There are different types of terrariums or vivariums and there are rack systems such as this one. The terrariums can be made of plastic or glass and they are ideal for colubrids or they can be made of wood which are preferable if you're keeping ball pythons or pythons. Wood terrariums are more efficient in keeping the heat in than the glass ones. Ventilation is important to keep the, a good air renewal inside the terrarium so it doesn't get moldy inside there. In this case I had too much ventilation so I kind of obstructed with some masking tape as you can see. The cold air enters through these holes here heats up in the lamp inside and exits through the top here. So I always have a constant renewal of hair that warms up and leaves, enters and exits. Having a good ventilation system helps the airflow to renew inside the, the terrarium or in this case inside the tub so objects don't get mold. In this case this is just a little bit of poo and peep from the snake but it creates an airflow on the cold side so I have air coming in from the bottom and from the top on the left on the right and at the front of the terrarium. So it will, you can prevent the growing of molds in, in objects or in the substrate to, to keep a good health in your animal. It is advisable to provide a hiding spot for the snake in the cold area of the terrarium or of the tub and also on the hot end. In this case I have this coconut sh half shell and she is hiding here and warming up just digesting, digesting its meal. Uh, besides the hides there is also as I mentioned the hot spot of the, terrari of the terrarium and the cold spot of the terrarium or the tub in this case I have the hot spot at the back I have a vertical heat tape at the back and this is the cold spot where I have my water bowl maybe in the middle or I prefer it to be more at the front of the cold spot the same goes in my wood terrariums I have the hot spot on the right and the cold spot at the left where I have the hide and the water bowl. In terms of substrate you can use paper just normal ki kitchen paper it is good to absorb the moisture the, of the pee of the, the poops and it's very very cheap and very simple to replace. Take it out put new in. I also have this snake bedding here which is not bad, it's um, a bit dry, doesn't keep the moisture so well. I'm just hoping to finish this big bag the next time I, I replace it. And I bought this bark, uh, bark uh, forest bark from Exoterra. It is better for big ball pythons, it absorbs the urates much better and doesn't let them go get to the end of the, the tub, so you don't have to, to scrape the, the bottom every time you, you have to change it. Like many beginners I have tried other even cheaper options of substrate like getting sand from the street and that was a, that is not very advisable because it might have germs, bacteria, it's not um, 
purified. Um, the substrates we buy in reptile shops, they should be dust free. They should have a, as a function reduce the odor in the in the tub or in the, the terrarium. They should be water absorbent. They should be sterilized. And so that means they should be heat treated and not have any bacteria or germs. It is also good if they are biodegradable and free of chemical agents. Inside the terrarium or, the, or inside your tub, the moisture level should be around 50 or 60%. So the snake has a good humidity level or good moisture level. To not too high to prevent um, some respiratory infections and not too low. So it helps the snake to shed its skin whenever necessary. To measure the moisture level, I have a nigrometer. I also have the thermometer probe from my thermostat here. That is the main controller of temperature. The thermometer probe reads the temperature, sends the information to the, the, the thermostat. I have the bottom one and the, the top one and then it controls how much power it sends into the light into the bulb to the heating lamp and just to be on the safe side besides the thermometer probe the independent thermocouple that is inside of the terrarium which is has a, an error of around two degrees i still got the spirometer i can always measure the temperature in any given spot inside the tub or inside the terrarium Maybe you don't have a rack or a wood terrarium. Maybe you have a glass terrarium or a plastic terrarium in which to separate the temperature, to make a temperature gradient, uh, to make a hot spot and a cold spot. You will also have the option of using a heat pad and place it under the, um, your terrarium or use a heat cable. Because snakes are ectothermic animals, which means they are not capable of generating their own energy in internal energy so they cannot keep a constant body temperature they have to move into sunny spots or warm spots in in the nature to regulate to be able to regulate the internal body temperature so that's why we need to create a hot spot and a cold spot in the in the terrariums as a resume you can use heat pads, heat cables, heat lamps or bulbs and also UVBs. It is important that you control the temperature, the right temperature using a thermostat. Read the instructions and program your thermostat to the desired temperatures. Just to wrap things up, you can also use ornamentation in your terrarium such as little animal skulls or pieces of log this uh, this is pretty good to give them climbing spots not in this case obviously uh, they are more interested in mating now <laughs> but uh, helps them to have some rough edges to um, scrape their skin when they are shedding using pebbles is also a, an option some people like to use plants as ornamentation of their terrariums as well as vines that's always pretty cool these skulls are a great idea <laughs> to be or not to be the snake probably thinks to bite or not to bite <laughs> and that's a wrap for now guys stay cool and power to the snakes <laughs>